All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about Caspa. You know, before we get into the Caspa analysis, you guys can pretty much see the entire market is down right now, and that is mainly due to the fact that Bitcoin has seen a retracement. And of course, that is causing the entire market to react to that. Of course, you guys know on the weekends, we do tend to see CME futures close and, um, you know, we do tend to see more manipulation across the board. And speaking about CME futures gap, you know, there is a gap around 39,400, which possibly could be filled. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it can be filled in the next, you know, 24 hours or uh, 48 hours. It could even take weeks uh, if you are familiar with the CME gaps. But nonetheless, you know, if we're looking at uh, CASPA, it's down 8%. And if you watch my update yesterday, you know, I was giving you guys a warning that, you know, we could be seeing a 10 cents CASPA once again because we were sitting at some key levels of support. And as a matter of fact, today we did see that um, exact target that I spoke about really get retested. So we're going to take a further look and see what is happening and, of course, what is yet to come. But before I get into the analysis, as always, just a quick disclaimer for everyone. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So as of December the 17th, you guys can see Caspa is currently sitting at 10.5 cents. Like I've mentioned earlier, it's down 8% in USD comparative. It's also down 7.2% in Bitcoin comparative over the past 24 hours. Meanwhile, it's market cap currently sitting at 2.26 billion and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 57.1 million. So I know I've been seeing a lot of people uh, panicking at this point. Um, and, you know, that is to be quite frank that is normal right of course you know when we do see quite a bit of red across the board people tend to panic especially the newcomers coming into the space and as far as newcomers uh, are concerned there's a lot of new money that is flowing into the crypto space so i understand uh, where people are coming from but before we get into the charts guys i want you guys to take a look at this so about two hours back you know this is the reason as to why i asked this on the poll because i wanted to kind of talk about this in this update so you guys can see about two hours back i said Casper touched the exact target I spoke about yesterday. Anyone that was wishing for a pullback, are you buying now or no? And 65% have said buying the dip and about 35% are saying waiting for it to go lower. Come on, guys. We know deep down this number is not supposed to be this high. Uh, you know, right now there is quite a bit of fear across the board. But, you know, the opportunity is definitely there to dollar cost average in because you're getting... Uh, 40% almost, um, you know, discount from its all-time highs. And, you know, speaking about all-time highs, around this range with this red zone, the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level, this is where everyone is mega bullish. And, you know, if you talk about locking in profits or, you know, the price of Casa potentially going down because nothing goes up straight forever, if you talk about that, people around this range uh, are getting really, really mad at you for saying that. But as a matter of fact, you know, after seeing the significant pullback, uh, you know, people are gone speechless at this point. And, you know, I don't bash projects like I've said a thousand times before. Caspa has labeled itself as one of the hot projects of the cycle. And usually these projects, from my experience, whenever a project gains a lot of momentum, usually tends to do quite well. And of course, Caspa has a unique uh, tech behind it. You know, it's a layer one and we know how much layer ones are hype right now. You guys can see ICP is absolutely exploding. We're seeing pretty much every layer one gaining traction once again. And there's a new kit on the block, which is, of course, Caspa. And it gained a lot of traction. Anyone that was mining it late last year, some are already millionaires if you know about that. But, you know, nothing goes up straight forever because even after we're seeing now, let me give you guys this, um, you know, perspective. So from its all time high at 15.5 cents, we're seeing, like I said, almost a 35 percent discount. We are retesting the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level support. And I'm going to discuss what the next target could be if we lose this support line. So. Um, you know, let's take a look at that, actually. So obviously, the reason as to why we've seen this massive, um, you know, pullback 
about a 10% pullback to be exact. Let me show you guys this. So yesterday we were bouncing at the 61.8 support line and I mentioned in the update yesterday that you know if we lose this support, I am expecting targets at this 10.2 cents mark and you can't make this up. Anyone that says TA does not work, I hope you guys are really looking at this and if you want a confirmation if I said this or not, please go watch my update which was just yesterday and you can see this for yourself. We saw this uh, move and um, you know this does not come as a surprise to me. Um, and um, of course, you know, we initially retested this 10.2 cents support and you know we saw a bounce as to be expected at instant 10% bounce and anyone that had their buy orders placed in around here like I said a lot of buying pressure around this range so it does not surprise me that you know we did see a quick bounce above um, but we're seeing once again the price falling back towards the downside because BTC decided to say peace out let me try to retest the lows that uh, you know of course it created after hitting an all-time high I'm sorry not an all-time high yearly high so you can see this for yourself BTC did test 40,500 and as I said there's a CME gap at around uh, roughly 39,500 of course you guys can't see it on here because this is just a regular BTC spot uh, charts but you know the usually CME futures do tend to get filled uh, you know sooner rather than later might not be the case in the next few days sometimes I've seen in the past you know CME futures could even take you know one two three weeks uh, for it to fill in but you know, a lot of people are anticipating that BTC could see a little bit of a pullback. And, you know, seeing a BTC pullback, let me show you guys this. How would that, um, you know, affect the entire market? Let's take a look at that. So, let me go on the weekly. And this is what we need. So, there we go. If we're looking at the BTC charts, guys, pretty much since, um, you know, September, Bitcoin is just in an upward trend barely any pullback barely any retracement of course the etf news the etf narrative is um causing bitcoin to have a lot of steam but you know there needs to come a time where we do see a little bit of a pullback if you are focusing on the previous run that we saw every single time there has been a retracement retracements do come so you know we are seeing a pullback of course this is uh, considered a pullback but are we going to go lower than a 40k you know that is what some people are talking about of course 39.5 cme gap uh that could be filled so that would be around this range so we could see btc pulling back down there but could we see btc falling down to 36k could we see that now let me tell you guys that um into perspective so that's a drop of about 11.3 percent and that would still put from our September lows at, um, no, I'm sorry, September prices at 25.6, that would still put a 41 increase on the yearly. So could we see a little bit of a cool, back, cool off happening? Possibly. It depends, right? You know, if we do see some sort of a delay, you know, earlier next year, um, some sort of a delay that's announced, uh, you know, for the ETF, I would not be surprised if BTC retest 36.2. And uh, of course, you know, after having, you know, pretty much the entire quarter four extremely bullish, we need a little bit of a retracement before we do see, um, you know, the price is popping off back towards all time highs. So what I'm personally thinking is maybe the first thing in, uh, you know, the beginning of next year in 2024 might see a retracement uh, for BTC. And I think there is still a really strong chance we could see a retest at this 36,248 support uh, before we start heading towards all time highs. And of course, this will impact, um, you know, altcoins across the board. Um, and, um, you know, of course, Caspa is no exception. So I'm talking about the worst case scenario. Um, and honestly, even if that were to happen, that is totally okay because, you know, markets have been pumping like crazy. I think if the news did not come out for uh you know the interest rates remaining uh the same i think we would have seen uh btc potentially below 40k already so you know, we need to keep these factors in mind so what would that do to caspa usually as you know uh, when we do tend to see moves like this uh if it's a 10 percent drop for btc we do tend to see um you know all coins hit double so let's put that into perspective now let's say caspa remains in the 78.6 zone then a 20 percent drop would put it at 8.1 cents and you know as a matter of fact if the price remains within this range um you know 
a 20% pullback pretty much takes us exactly at that 8 cent support. You can see this for yourself and you know that would be that next major support line. And speaking about support line, like I've said, you can see this for yourself. We've done two different retests at this support. And if this support is lost, so far we are being supported by here. We're seeing a bounce. If this is lost, we could be going back down to 9.9 .9 cents. And of course, if that is not able to hold, uh, you know, a 9.5 cents CASPA could be the next target. And, you know, people that were kicking themselves for not accumulating cash at the top and the opportunity is there right now. And yes, there's still a chance for cash to fall a little lower. But speaking about that, now let's say the price of cash does go uh, to these levels when, you know, that we're not going to be seeing as much interest. And it's normal, guys, you know, when we do tend to see bearish momentum, when we do tend to see retracements happening, we don't see as much hype coming in. Um, and, you know, I think this is where we do see bigger exchanges come and announce, uh, you know, the listing, which will take uh, the price of cash towards all time high. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. Um, but, you know, as a crypto OG, you know, this is something I continuously reminded a lot of people that, you know, let's not get greedy. We will see moves like this. We will see retracement. But some people just totally were calling me, uh, you know, weird names, all that good stuff saying, you know, you're not bullish on Casper. Casper is going to one dollar, this and that. Of course, you know, the potential is definitely there, but that does not mean that we're not going to see these retracements. But, uh, you know, do pay very close attention to BTC. Like I said, this support line, very, very important. But let me know down below what you guys think and where you see Casper uh, trading at in quarter one of, uh, you know, 2024. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Been Crypto ZX and peace out.